guys, things are so heavy right now. And I know a lot of us are trying to figure out what can I do? Like, how can I handle all of the news that's going on right now and not let it tear me down and consume me uh, to a point where it's impacting your mood, your sleep, uh, your appetite, all those things. Well, uh, for me, a lot of the time being able to do something, so reaching out to uh, congregations in our area, um, in the Jewish community, or um, to Palestinian organizations that are trying to help the people in Gaza, um, and seeing what you can do is is definitely a local, hyper-local way to help. Uh, on the national and international scale, the Red Cross is working uh, both in Israel and in Gaza trying to help. And so they are um, funds that they're gathering right now to make a difference. Um, and so hopefully soon there'll be a way to get some aid in, for example, on the, um, the southern side of the border with e Egypt. And so that should be happening soon. So they're going to need resources. And the easiest way for resources to get there is to give money versus stuff. Um, prayer is so helpful for me. I don't know if you're a believer uh, or, or practice a faith that helps sustain you in rough times, but that's a really great place to turn is that you can pray for the people that you uh, believe are suffering right now and you can um, lift them up in prayer, lift the leaders of the world up in prayer um, and whatever works in, in your walk of faith. Um, we can also, beyond donating and helping locally, um, just just try to, you know, find ways to, to take a break from this stuff. You can't sit and watch all of this coverage 24-7 and keep getting updates on Twitter um, without taking breaks. Like my husband and I watched a movie tonight, just got away from it all. Um, anything you can do to kind of just find some balance in, in this and to know that... Um, you got to keep, keep it on, you know, and, and go to the things that help relax you and sustain you when things get rough, like in your own personal life. Cause this is a weird situation, right? It's not your life that's upsetting you right now. It is the world that is kind of invading on top of us. So do those things. Uh, that's what the mental health professionals are advising. Um, and I'll see you on TV with more news about all of this, but hopefully you can consume it in a balanced way. Um, and again, we're trying to warn you when there are images that might disturb you and all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to help you help yourself, um, through this. And I hope if you have any suggestions of ways to help, um, that you found that maybe I haven't mentioned that you'll share those in the comments and let other people know. Take care. I'll see you soon.